Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 84 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a German Whisper Thermo consecutive problem, which was submitted by Pilatel. Um, and this one has been rated hard by the testers. So um, the way this one works, of course, is you need to place um, the digits into the cells marked with an X. No other digits need to be placed. Um, and the there will be a link below to where you can find a copy of this problem to try it for yourself. Um, the rules on this one, are there are German whisper lines, which are the green lines. On German whisper lines, adjacent digits must have a difference of five or more more. There are thermos. Along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. Um, the next digit along from the bulb cannot be, oh, as they moves along, they cannot stay the same. They cannot decrease. They must increase. And cell separated by the white dot must be consecutive. Um, that what we've got. Um, so yeah, feel free to pause the video and then I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so there's a couple of concepts on this one that you need to understand in order to um, be able to progress. And one of the most important concepts, of course, is the German whisper concept of alternating polarity. If you look at a German whisper line, uh, first of all, you can't put a five on it because five lower than five is zero or lower and five higher than five is 10 or higher. Um, and then if you think about the digits one to four and six to nine, if you pick a digit from one to four and then you um, make anything five different, it will automatically jump to the six to nine because um, of the five difference, it has to leapfrog the five. So you will always go from one to four to six to nine. And if you start in six to nine, anything five different will be in the one to four. So you are always going to leapfrog the five and you'll end up with what's called alternating polarity. So you'll go low, high, low, high, low, high, or high, low, high, low, high, low. And because of that, you will know that every second digit along the line or along a line will have the same high or low um, polarity. So these three digits here, we don't know what they are, but they're, uh, let's use a different color. Those are going to be the same high, low polarity. So the question we want to ask ourselves, and actually I'm not going to use those ones. Um, I could use those ones or the ones on the other line. I'm going to ask myself, what happens if those digits there are high? And I use yellow for high. So if those digits there are high, is that going to cause a problem? Because these all must be the same. Um, and the answer is, they. And the reason you can consider yourself asking this question is because these are at the bottom of a thermo, if these become high, everything along this thermo must also be high because you can't, you must go up from the bulb of a thermo. And if these become high, then this becomes high. So you're putting a lot of pressure onto stuff by making these high. Now, if you think about these three cell thermos, these have a maximum of nine, but you can't put nine into both of them. So one of these must be eight. And you've got these three cell thermos that can only exist from high digits, six, seven, eight, nine. So this would have to be six or seven, this would have to be seven or eight, and this would have to be eight or nine. But this is the same, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight, nine. Now there is two degrees of freedom, but you end up with this problem with this cell right here. Because there's a seven, eight pair in this row, if this is seven, it can't jump to eight, so it would have to be six. But if this is seven, this is six, so this couldn't be six, but this would have to be six. And if this is eight, this would have to be nine because it can't be seven because there's another seven over here, but it can't be nine because if this is eight, this is nine. So if this consecutive dot means that if these are if this is high, these are high, you end up this seven, eight pair because this has to be the same because of the whisper line means that this is all broken and it just doesn't work. So these digits down here can't be high because these force all of these to be high and it just doesn't work. So these two digits just cannot be high. And with those two digits not being able to be high, we know that those must be low. Now this is at the end of a thermo. And you can't make any, if this is a low digit, then these must also be low digits. But what can this be? Well, it's, if it's a low digit, it's from one, two, three, or four, but it's three digits along a thermo, so it can't be one or two. And if it was a four because of whisper logic, what is only five away from four? The only digit is nine, and both of those would have to be nine, which doesn't work. So this is a three, 
And therefore, this can only be a 2 and this can only be a 1. And by whisper logic, the only thing you, that is 5, the only two digits that are 5 away from 3 are 8 and 9. Now the question we want to ask ourselves is, can these be low? And it's a lot easier to prove now that we have these being forced to be low. Because if this is low, there is a 1 here now. So if this is a low, this has a, minim, a minimum of 2. So this would have to be a 4, because so, it would go 2, 3, 4. Now if this is 4, 3, and 2, what's this digit? Because the only thing that is a consecutive with 3 is 2 and 4, and I've already placed them. So these can't be low. That just doesn't work. So these have to be high, which means this is high. And then we've got the same thing. This is a 6, 7, 8, or 9, but it can't be an 8 or a 9 because it'd go 8, 9, nothing, or 9, nothing. So they're not 8, 9. And if this is a 6, the only digit that is 5 away from 6 is 1. So this can't be a 6. This is a 7. These become 1, 2, which are the only digits that are 5 away from 7. And along this thermometer, 7, 8, 9 is the only thing that works. But this 8 is now looking down, making that the 9 and that the 8, and this 2 is looking up, making this the 1 and this the 2. And that is the solution to the problem. There's a lot of moving parts on this, and this consecutive dot, which is nowhere near the digits that you need to resolve, is doing all of the work. Very, very cool problem. I like this one a lot. Um, this is probably one of the more refined problems that I've seen. And I really thank you, Pilato, for sending this one through. I really, really do like this one. Um, when I saw this one unfolding and how it all worked, I was just, yes, this is exactly the sort of thing I'm looking for with this series. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you were able to figure this one out for yourself. Um, there's a couple of more convoluted ways to get it, but I think this is the most elegant way I found of solving this one. Um, yeah, I really do hope you're enjoying the series. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.